I'm going to be giving this castle away completely for free to one person watching this video. Just stay tuned and you'll find out what you need to do to enter to get in the runnings to win this castle. Hey guys, I just finished putting together this awesome castle setup. It took me one day to build and a couple of hours to paint. It's super easy and anyone can do it. I use a lot of beginner friendly techniques, so please follow up with my video so you can make your own castle setup like this one. Here we are at the start of our project. I'm going to be using XPS foam, which is my favorite and the most famous terrain making material. What I'm going to do is measure out a 12 centimeter length here and then give that a cut. That means that the wall is going to be 12 centimeters tall and because this foam is 50 millimeters thick, that's how wide it's going to be, which is perfect for the basis of two models. Now, I could use my fancy foam pot wire cutter for this, but because I want this to be a nice beginner friendly tutorial, I'm just going to use my blade. It works just as well for a nice clean cut like this, although it might take a little bit longer. So you can see we have our first cut completed here. Now there's actually a minor imperfection, but that's alright because I have the chunk that came out of there, and I'll just be able to glue that in just like that. Now any other imperfections, we're actually going to turn into battle damage. Now not only does this hide what we messed up, but it actually adds a lot to the build. Our next step here is adding texture to the wall. To do this, I'm just going to mark out every 2 centimeters along my wall. Now the reason I've chosen 2 centimeters is because it's nice and big so the details stand out. And that also means that it doesn't take forever. Some projects have done really tiny bricks and it looks good, but if you're trying to get this project done in just one day or in a weekend, it's just not going to happen if you do tiny bricks. I'm also going to flip it over and do the other side. Now the last thing that I'm going to mark out is the halfway point on the top of the wall, just so that I can add some texture there as well. So I'm just lining up here and... There we go. Perfect. Now the next step is taking our knife again and we want to go over all of this just with that blade and I'm going to cut just a few millimeters deep. Now our next step here is to cut in each individual brick. Now I'm pretty approximate with this, you can see me just measuring out and stabbing my knife in. And I'll do the first row and then from there, I'll just work my way up. I made sure to extend each of these cuts onto the top layer as well. This way, when I go around the other side, the brick pattern is gonna have to match up because I'm gonna go down and around and there is the start of my brick pattern on the other side. With all of our shallow cuts done, our next step is super satisfying. Take a pencil and all we're gonna do is bevel all those cuts and it makes them stand out nicely. I love this step. You might be wondering why we've taken this trip outside. Well, we need to add texture to our castle walls. And the absolute best way to do that is with some stones. I reckon this one will do. Now with that stone, we just want to roll it over the wall like this. And that adds heaps of tiny, tiny textures that you can see in there. Now it's also good to focus on just one brick at a time so that the texture doesn't transfer over to the next one, just making each brick seem individual. 
This step doesn't take heaps of time, just have fun with it and add heaps of texture. With that step done, this is our basic castle wall done at this point. We just need to add some of the crenellations, do this a couple more times, and then make a gate, and our castle will be good to go. For these crenellations, I've just taken a smaller offcut because they're a bit easier to work with. I've just measured it up, and I'm going to cut a thin one centimeter strip from this. Now, this is a very easy step to make mistakes in, so just take your time, be careful and you'll get it done. Now for the top layer, I'm just gonna eyeball things so that it looks like each brick is approximately a square. And after I've cut those, I'm gonna stand it up and cut through down to the line. And then these act as a guide for where my line on the other side needs to go in order to line up perfectly. After the lines on both sides have been cut, I'm just going through and popping out all these crenulations. Perfect. Finally, we just need to cut in the rest of those bricks and then we are on to texturing. And I want to make sure this castle is super practical to play in. So I just want to make sure it's the right height for my models. And it looks like, if I'm testing this model in here, that a bit over halfway through the second stone, maybe even the first stone is the best height. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for it like that. All right, and to attach this, we're just going to hot glue it. And there we go, assembly on the first section of castle wall is completed. All we need to do now is make a gatehouse, another section and some corner pieces, and we are looking pretty good. The most important part of almost every castle is the gate. So that's what we're gonna make now. We're gonna integrate it with the wall section. So we're gonna measure out the middle of this wall section. And then I'm gonna pick up my measuring tape and I'm going to measure six centimeters either side of that. So the gate on the wall is going to be there. All right, lines measured, let's draw those. Make them nice and straight. And now we just need to cut these. So I'm going to have the gate have um, kind of an angled arch in it. If you're not sure what I mean, just stay with me because I think that this is going to look pretty cool. So I've got these triangles and now I'm just going to glue them into place. I cut these into strips so they could be stairs leading up to the gatehouse. But a super important thing for me is that the models can sit on those stairs so it's actually practical for playing the game on. We are on to texturing. These seams look Terrible, so I'm gonna hide those with these crenellations cut in here. And I'll snap that.
All right, it is the base coating phase. Now I'm gonna start this with a black spray primer. Uh, the problem is that black spray primer can often melt this foam. So I'm gonna make sure I'm a long way away. That way the aerosol inside the primer dries before it hits the foam and it won't melt. The downside to that is it's hard to get as good coverage. So after I spray these, I will go in with the brush as well, just to finish it up. So at the moment, our wall is awesome if we just want it to be straight, but I do also want to be able to have it um, have some corners. So what I'm gonna do at the moment is just mark out some squares that will fit on the corners. We need some staircases so that models can actually access these walls, and that was done just by drawing out a rough staircase, cutting it, and then texturing it the exact same way that we textured our walls. All right, so the last thing that I need to do for this castle build is make the gate. I'm using this stuff that's just the inside of a foam core. It's really flimsy, but it's gonna be the main frame of my gate, or the main shape of the gate, and then I'm gonna reinforce it with some detail. So to make sure it perfectly fits, I'm just gonna place my gate around it, and then I think I'll trace it. Yeah, I'll trace it instead of cut it. And then let's cut this out. All right, this next step is making the gate. So here's one that I've already made and we're gonna go through how I put it together. Firstly, cut a whole bunch of strips from my XPS foam. I've got a thicker one to use as the bottom. Just gonna take my hot glue gun and lining that up at the bottom, slapping it on. All right. Step one, done. This is a super easy way to make frames of anything, and I do it all the time. So I thought I'd show it off here. And not worrying about measuring exactly how long these need to be or making them perfectly flush just yet. Let's take this one and... All right, cool. We'll let them cool. This one here's probably done, so I'm just gonna trim the excess so it's the right length. Go up here, trim the excess so it's the right length, and last one, just there. There's a bit of a gap there, so I'm just going to smooth them out. Dab of hot glue, and smooth it out with my finger. And nearly done. I'm now just adding a wood grain texture on all of the trim that I added to the gate. Wood grain is so easy to do, I'm just using a mechanical pencil and adding in some lines. If you're interested in winning this castle wall set, well then all you need to do is like this video, leave a comment on this video with an idea for a video that you would like to see in the future, as well as going to my Instagram page, the.conquest.creator, liking this certain post as well as leaving a comment on that post as well with an idea for a future video that you would like to see. I will randomly select one of these comments on the 12th of July and I'll post this wall set to them completely for free. And with that assembly done, it is painting time. I'm just using the cheapest possible house paints at the moment. Mix some black with some white with a bunch of water so it flows nice and smoothly and we're going over every section of the wall. The final step on our castle is just dry brushing the whole thing with a nice light gray color. Really brings out the details. Now you could spend as long as you want painting yours and make it very nice and unique. But this one, I'm just going for something simple, quick and easy. And I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. And here is the final setup. I had to lay out all my miniatures to get a look at how the wall will look in action. These walls were super easy to do and would make for a great first project for someone who's just been in crafting. Castles always come up in my games, whether they're RPGs, tabletop war games, or any other kind. I've contacted a few friends and we're planning on playing a big Middle Earth multiplayer castle siege battle. Until then, thank you for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing to my channel.